Hello, boys and girls. I hope everyone had a wonderful spring break. And if you celebrate Easter, I hope you had a very happy Easter. Welcome back. It is Monday, April 13th, and we are going to keep on with our remote learning. So you all got new packets in the mail, and if you didn't, I emailed um, the electronic versions to your grown-ups. But what you'll notice is that for each week, you have a checklist, a checklist for all of the things that you have to do each day. Each day, um, you'll be having work for Mrs. Brenton on Monday and Wednesday. So on Mondays and Wednesdays, you're going to have a morning message, reader's workshop, writing, centers, and guided reading. So you can use this checklist to check off the boxes each time you complete an activity, and that'll help you to keep track of the work that you have. Um, anything for writer's workshop does not have to be posted, but it is still work that you should make sure you're doing at home. So because today is Monday for guided reading, I will be meeting on Zoom with my blue group friends while my yellow group friends do one of their leveled reading passages. And on Wednesday, I'll be meeting with my yellow group friends on Zoom. So here is your morning message for today. This is a letter. I want you to go ahead and make sure you put the date up there, the month, the day, and the year, April 13th, 2020. And the letter reads, Dear Marvelous Mates, My sister and I are, my sister and I looked for a four-leaf clover. We looked for a long time. I found four ladybugs and two worms. My sister found a four-leaf clover by a tree. She is so lucky. Love, Mrs. Brenton. So as you heard me read that letter, I hope you were thinking about some of the sounds and punctuation that were missing from that letter. So go ahead and reread it to yourself and fill in all of those missing pieces. And when you're done, I want you to continue the pattern with the four-leaf clover at the bottom. It looks like they're counting by fours here. Four, eight, twelve. What would be next? I'm thinking that I would add 12 and four together, which would give me 16. Keep going on with that pattern for a little extra math practice. After that, you're gonna be brainstorming some adjectives to describe the child in this picture. So remember, describing words tell us things like what the person looks like, shape, color. Maybe you think she's tall or short. What color is her hair, her teeth? Is she happy or sad? Use those adjectives to describe the girl and use um, five to fill in these little bubbles around her. Then I want you to think of two adjectives that describe you and write them in that little space. For Reader's Workshop today, you are going to be listening to Click Clack Moo by Doreen Cronin. You're going to click on this YouTube link here, and then after that, I want you to see if you can find a grown-up in your house or maybe a sibling who you can talk to about this book. This isn't something that you have to post, but this is always a really good idea of something to do to help you to really engage with the story. I want you to talk to them about who the characters were in the story, where it took place, what problems the cows and the hens have at the farm, and how they solved that problem. If you don't have somebody at your house who's available to share this with you, you can always tell a stuffed animal or a pet all about your story. For writing today, I'm going to be posting a YouTube lesson where we're going to be talking about how to touch and tell while we're planning our stories. Then I want you to start the first page of the rough draft of the first book in your series. And again, there's going to be a YouTube link posted on Class Dojo. Click on that for more instructions on how to complete today's writing assignment. For guided reading today, here is the schedule. I'm going to be meeting with my purple group friends from blue group at 10 a.m. on Zoom, green group at 1020, red group at 1040, blue group at 11, and yellow group at, oh, that should say 1120. Um, I'm going to be meeting with you guys at 1120. So if you're in blue group and you're able to go to those Zoom meetings, I've assigned you all books through Epic, and I'll have those books up on the screen for you to be able to see in case you're having a little trouble pulling them up on your own computer. If you are not able to attend those Zoom meetings, you're going to grab one of the leveled reading passages from the packet that the school mailed to you. You can just pick whichever one you want, read it, and answer the questions. 
Um, for Yellow Group, that's what you're going to be doing today because we're not going to be able to meet on Zoom, but we will be meeting on Zoom on Wednesday. So I look forward to seeing you guys then. All right, so here are your center options for this week. Now, you really only have to pick two because you're only going to have work for Mrs. Brenton on Mondays and Wednesdays. But if you want extra practice, you can do one each day, which I'll just remember, any extra practice just makes you smarter, helps your brain to grow even bigger. So do that extra work if you're able to. But otherwise, I want you to at least pick one today and at least pick one on Wednesday. So some options that you have are the word sort, which is included in your packet. You can practice writing your sight words. Um, you can do that in a variety of different ways. You can um, write them in your favorite color. You can use sidewalk chalk. You can make them in Play-Doh. You can type them on the computer, or you can write them in fancy cursive letters. Um, if you would like, you can also go to pbskids.org and play a reading game. You can draw pictures in your journal of compound words. Remember, compound words are two smaller words that are put together to make one bigger word like firehouse, baseball, lipstick. So you can draw pictures showing what those two smaller words that make the bigger word mean. Um, you could even make it like sort of uh, like a number sentence. You could have a ball and a base and you could add them together and that equals baseball or a lip and a stick and then add that together and that equals lipstick. So draw some pictures to show me what you know about compound words. And if you'd also like, you can um, grab one of your favorite books and look for some blends. You can look for the bull blend, the cur blend, the tur blend, or the sp blend, and then write those words in your guided reading notebook. We also have a makerspace challenge for this week. So. If you would like, you can do this as one of your centers or in addition to your centers. And what I'm challenging you to do this week is to go rummage through your recycle bin and find an old bottle. It could be an old water bottle. It could be an old milk jug. It could be an old Gatorade bottle, soda bottle, whatever you have, and try to make a planter out of it. Now, as you can see here, friends online have come up with all kinds of fun ways to do that. Um, so you can see this dinosaur, for example, is made out of a, a water bottle and they cut the top of it off and then they add this little dinosaur head and they paint it and they add some buttons. Um, you could make one of these cute little spring animals. You could make a little bunny if you want to have like a little extra Easter decoration or you can have um, some farm animals or anything like that. And then since I know some of you have been growing things um, as part of your science this past month. You could transplant your plants into your planter and then you have like a nice cool little thing to do. So that's something that I'm going to be doing with my own kids. And if you do this, send me a picture because I'd love to see it. So you're going to be getting one social studies assignment each week from me and you can work on it whenever you want or you can wait until Friday and do it then. But I just want to tell you now what your social studies assignment is for the week. So Earth Day is Wednesday, April 22nd. So in preparation for Earth Day, I want you to start thinking about things that you can do to protect our planet. So we talked a lot during our natural resources unit about the way that materials are used and how we can recycle things and how um, where energy comes from and things like that. So use what you know to talk about ways that you can protect our Earth. So you have a worksheet that was put in your packets. Just go ahead and grab that, color in a picture of the earth. If you have a Band-Aid at home, you can stick it on there to show how you're mending the earth. And then I want you to complete the sentence um, that's on the worksheet. So remember, it's a sentence starter, so you don't have to copy it. You just have to keep on going with it. And it says, I can heal the world and make it a better place by... And remember, we talked about things like turning off the lights, recycling, cleaning up a park. So come up with things that you think that you can actually do to help our world. Now, that's all for today. Don't forget to post your work on Class Dojo. Every time you finish something, you can take a quick little picture with your grown-up cell phone and then go ahead and post it right there on Class Dojo. 
I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. I look forward to connecting with you on Zoom and I'll have another video to show you what you have to do for your work on Wednesday. See you later, guys.